help us understand better about the situations and realities of trade at this time when they are still in the middle of the pandemic? I think uh, things are looking up. This year, we're forecasting an 8% growth in trade, falling to 4% in 2022. But all this is happening in a very uncertain environment, which very mm. much depends on whether there's access to vaccines or not. If vaccine inequity continues and we don't uh, get the rest of the world vaccinated, then we may not see the bounce back that we're expecting. Even now, there's a divergence. I think China and Asia is recovering much faster with regard to exports and imports than, say, Latin America and Africa. Access to vaccines is the best economic stimulus one can have. And vaccine policy is the same as growth and recovery policy. A situation where about 10 countries uh, have administered you know, 70 to 80 percent of the vaccine doses we have in the world, where low-income countries have only seen 0.2 percent of the vaccines. This is not uh, really uh, acceptable, and we have to, to do something about it. So we must scale up the manufacturing of vaccines worldwide. We must have a better distribution of manufacturing capacity. There's also the demand by almost 100 members of WTO in the TRIPS Council to have a waiver of the TRIPS agreement so that uh, intellectual property agreement so that developing countries can have access. Now, this is being debated. So you have both sides. And I believe that uh, our members in discussing with each other will come to an acceptable agreement to both sides that would enable us to have this solution of equity of access solved whilst also protecting research and development. Let me ask you more about the WTO. Uh, the appellate body is supposed to be the teeth of the WTO, but we see little progress in figuring out who will be the judges. WTO, the WTO uh, uh, has to work on the reform of the dispute settlement system. I think all WTO members are clear about this. I think the issue is what should be the nature of these reforms. And on that, WTO members still need to come to agreement. Mm. So mm. these are some of the discussions that will be initiated. We'll, there are developing countries who have issues with the way the present dispute settlement system works. There are developed countries like the United States who have problems with the way it works. We have to factor all this into account and come to a common understanding of what type of reforms we want. I hope that by the time of the 12th ministerial conference in December, we will at least mm. be on the same playing field, level playing field, with respect to how do we want to reform the system. We need it to be reformed in order to make sure that the rulemaking of the WTO still has the credibility it deserves. Mm. So is there a hope? Many say this transformation will take years. The WTO can, as a multilateral institution, can certainly help our members like the EU, the US and China to solve some of the problems they have. And I hope they will indeed use this organization, reform it and use it towards this end, because that's why it's here. But there are also some issues that need to be solved bilaterally between these uh, big trading powers. And uh, sure. there is an indication from the Biden administration and the EU, for instance, that they might be willing to sit together and try to find a, a negotiated solution or a mediation in, in, the, in the matters that have confronted them on, on the airline, the Airbus uh, uh, um, and Boeing dispute, for instance, that has gone on for many years. Similarly, I hope that China and the US can also find a way to, to settle some of their differences you know, bilaterally. But any remaining differences, the WTO is ready uh, to be able to help members use it as a forum uh, to arrive at some good solutions. What about the women leadership? We see one after another, including that of yours, coming onto the world stage. Things are moving, but we have a long way to go. Let me tell you, the mm -hmm. day that, that we will see say that women's leadership has arrived, is the day that we will no longer find it special that a mm -hmm. woman is in an international organization, that an African is leading. The day we don't have that as a big piece of excitement, that will tell you that women have really arrived. Mm -hmm.